Welcome to the Blue Collar Gentleman. I'm Topher and the channel that I started is undergoing a change. Craft beer, although still enjoyed, will no longer be the focus. Enough small brewers have allowed sexual assault, bigotry, misogyny, homophobia, and anti-science nonsense into their workplaces that I need to distance myself from craft beer for a while. Instead of reviewing, I'm taking a stand. I'm going to learn what it truly means to be a gentleman. Pronoun designations lately have become complicated. I've never believed someone must be assigned male at birth to make himself into a gentleman. So currently this channel believes that anyone who identifies as a man has the potential to make himself into a gentleman. If societal terminology or values change, we may need to revisit the issue. Most of us recognize an ungentlemanly behavior when we see it. The challenge then is learning what is gentlemanly conduct? What are those little nuances that turn a run-of-the-mill nice guy into a gentleman of distinction? Follow me and we'll learn together. We'll look at time-honored traditions and see if they still hold true in the 21st century. We'll uncover secrets to becoming a gentleman on a budget. You see, I'm still a blue-collar guy. I've cleaned, cooked, lifted, hauled, and operated something for a paycheck. I've had to protect my driver's seat with an old bed sheet because I left work so coated in grime. I'm rough around the edges, and that's where I'm starting. The single mother who birthed and raised me passed away in 2020. While she was here, she taught me blue-collar values like hard work, spending a few dollars more on the one that's better made, taking care of what you own so it lasts longer, helping your neighbor before they have to ask, patronizing the local small business owner, and never being too proud to turn down a bargain. She also demanded that I conduct myself as a gentleman, so she sent me to school in clothes that were clean and pressed. She insists that I call my elders sir and ma'am regardless of their position or place in life. She told me to take off my hat and sunglasses when I came indoors and never kick someone when they're down. So I'm dedicating the channel to her. She taught me blue collar values and gentlemanly standards. I hope she'd be proud and I hope you'll stick with Nancy and me as we go through growing pains. Cheers.